Hi, my name is Cliff Wallet greenberg with Rock On Studios. I'm an instructor and today I'm going to teach you proper finger placement for the piano. Now, we have different numbers for our fingers on the piano. It makes it very easy to shift around. Our thumb is called the first finger, then our index is the second, our middle finger is the third, our ring finger is the fourth, and pinky is the fifth. So let's go to the piano and I'll show you how to use it. So proper finger placement allows you to shift around the piano. So your fingers don't get jumbled up. Now an incorrect way to do that would be sort of trying to bring your thumb over this way. That's improper fingering technique. What you want to do is bring your thumb under and then you can stretch your fingers out and you can reach many notes. Another thing you can do with proper fingering is to shift between chords. So let's go to the piano and I'll show you how to do that. So to switch from our C chord to our G chord, I'm going to use 1, 3, and 5 for the C, and then I'm going to use 1, 2, and 5 for the G. It allows me to switch chords without having to actually move my hand. And if I tried to use other fingers, it would be awkward and uncomfortable. Finally, proper finger placement also allows you to, to show more of the music and more of the dynamics and more of, of what you're trying to express so you don't have to worry about your technique in your fingers. So for example, if I want to move around the keyboard a lot, and as you can see all the while my hand is not changing position, I'm just stretching fingers and moving around to be able to hit different notes. This has been Cliff Wallach-Greenberg with Rock On Studios, and that is proper fingering placement for a piano.